Some years ago, I dated a girl. The relationship was bad. She was very controlling and abusive, and it ended up really bad. So we broke up. I kept going on with my life, and after some years, I got a decent job, enough to solve all my needs, have a comfortable life, and make some savings. The thing is, a couple of months after getting my job, my ex contacted me. At first, she asked me to talk, and I believed that she might want to reconnect or something. However, she showed up with a five-year-old child, claiming he was my son and demanding child support. I didn't believe her, but the child's age matched the time since we caught contact. I got advice from a lawyer, a friend of mine, to try to solve this out of court. I offered to take responsibility, pay all the costs, and be an active part of the kid's life, but only after a DNA test. Everyone was okay with this, except for my ex. She acted offended and demanded to just give her the money she deserved. She used all the excuses she could, even contacted my family to tell them I was trying to avoid taking responsibility for her child. When she ran out of excuses and the DNA test was finally made. Surprise, I am not the father. She was so mad with the result and cried about the money, saying it was unfair and she deserved it, but she didn't accomplish anything. Moving on to last week, there was a little party at my parents' house. My brother, a friend, and I were talking, and my brother started to joke about the situation with my ex. My friend and I started to joke about it too, some of our comments were a little dark and bad, but we were far away from the rest of the people, literally on the opposite side of the house, and nobody else could hear us. At least, that was what we thought. We were laughing like crazies when my sister appeared, very angry, and pushed me against the wall. She spied on us and heard our conversation, and she was really mad. She started to yell at us, about how horrible people we were for mocking a poor woman. A few hours later, when the party ended, she asked me to go to the kitchen with our parents and she started to say how awful I was for the previous situation. Apparently, my ex had been in contact with her and she believed her version and that was her way to have an intervention, quote unquote. My brother and I were like, are you serious? When she started to say how I, quote unquote, forced my ex into being a single mother and that, quote unquote, I have the moral obligation to help her. My dad only said that we may have been too cruel making jokes about her, but I wasn't responsible for that kid. My mom then surprised all of us when she said, and quote, even if the kid is not yours, you are making more than enough money to support that child. You should have helped her, close quote. Since then, I have been receiving texts. My dad and my brother are on my side, saying I am not responsible for her. But my sister is telling me how horrible I am for ruining their lives. My mom only said, it's your decision, and I respect it. I'm just very disappointed that you ended up being so selfish. I am aware that she doesn't deserve my money and I am not planning to give her any. But the constant harassment of my sister trying to guilt me is just exhausting. Reader comments. Is your sister married with kids that don't look like her husband? Original poster. No, she's single. Updates. Six weeks later. It's been a while. After my last post, I read all the comments and decided to show them to my mother. We had a talk about the situation. Again, she started on my ex's side, but after reading the post and all the comments and opinion, she realized she was wrong. I think the thing that hurt her the most was all the doubts about if she cheated on my dad and I wasn't his son, and if that was the reason she was on her side. We had a very long conversation. She told me that she believed my ex because she was always so nice and kind with her that she decided to not believe me 
when I told her all the things she did to me during the relationship because a good girl like her could never do something like that. So I must be lying. After that, she apologized to me. We're good now. On the other side, my sister, at first, she decided that she wouldn't talk to me until, quote unquote, I take responsibility. But after some days, I talk with her. She's totally on her side. Even after showing her everything, she said that none of that matters because, quote unquote, a woman's word goes first. And that's all the proof anyone could need. Also, she said that even if you're not the biological father, you have an effective responsibility with her. So you must be man enough to take care of them and start acting like a real man. She was a lost cause. About my ex, I did some research and found out that shortly after we broke up, she started dating another guy. Or maybe she was cheating on me with him before. I'm not sure. They broke up some weeks later and she had multiple dates until she found out she was pregnant. I also found out that she had been trying to find a father for her kid for the last two years and I was the next on the list. But looks like she's desperate now because she was never that aggressive with any other one before. Now, the reason for this post. Some days ago, my ex and my sister came to my workplace. They made a big sign with my face that says he abandoned his child, an irresponsible father, and started a drama saying all their BS. Their intention was to shame me and use social pressure to force me to take charge of them. They literally said it, to not make the story too long. They were taken out of the place. I got problems for that scandal. Even after showing all the proofs and legal documents that shows they were lying, I was warned that this better never happen again or I will be fired. After that, I contacted my friend, the lawyer, and we are now redacting a very long and detailed paper against them, my ex and my sister too. They went too far. Now I'm going against them with everything. Maybe that scares them enough to leave me alone. Read our comments. Good luck with the restraining order, original poster, and a defamation suit, and everything my friend can add too. Read our comments. Hey, and if you can play up the emotions, part of it, claim you were so excited to be a dad just to find out the kid wasn't yours for emotional damages. Original poster. We were adding fraud too. I'm going nuclear. Read our comment. Damn, your sister is a mess. I would go no contact with her. Original poster. If she keeps on her side, I plan to go no contact with her after the demand. Read our comment. I don't suppose your sister has children. Is their father sure they're his? I find it totally bizarre that your sister had doubled and tripled down on this BS, even though she knows you're not the father. Original poster. She's single with no kids. She's too much into the always believe in women thing. Read her comments. Hit them hard with a defamation lawsuit. Original poster. That's the plan. My friend plans to add everything he could to the demand. They almost cost me my job. I'm going nuclear. Read her comment. It's a good thing your friend is a lawyer. Definitely try to get a restraining order or something like that. Her action is putting your job at risk. Original poster. He's doing that and the defamation demand and everything he can add to. Read her comments. My issue with the mother though is that you believe your child until proven otherwise. Your child's words come first. After their well-being does. The change hopefully is a good one. And she keeps to this newfound opinion. But I will be hurt if my mother believed my ex over me. Child involved or not. Original poster. It hurts me, but not that much. My mother often believed anyone else before me since I was a child. I used to lie a lot when I was 3 to 6. Since then, my mother always doubted my word. Read a comment. I read the original post and I just have to wonder, why did you meet up with your ex again after she contacted you? Original poster. No more answer because I thought she might want to talk or just amend things. Real answer? Because I'm an idiot. Update. Seven weeks later. Hi everyone. I'm sorry for the lack of news. The last weeks have been crazy with a lot of stuff 
but I think now it's a good moment to update you all. First off, I am not allowed to talk a lot about the lawsuit. The most I can share with you is that my ex was extremely freaked out when she knew about it. She's now begging to drop it. She offered to take back everything she said, to never bother or contact me again. She even tried to guilt me, saying that I will be ruining her and her son's life. But honestly, I don't care. I got tired of being the good guy a long time ago. She messed with me, now I'm fighting back. And for my sister, the lawsuit at first only made her worse. As her attempt to shame me in my job didn't work as well as she wanted, she moved it to social media, spreading her BS about me abandoning my child or not taking responsibility and exposing my legal actions as acts of censorship and misogyny. But at the end, that will be worse for her. Not only because I can dismiss her defamation easily, but also it is more evidence in our favor. Anyways, this is going to be a long road and we are just beginning. Recently, we had a pasada at my parents' house. Every year, we use this excuse to have a big family party before Christmas. I had my doubts because I didn't want to be near my sister. But after some relatives assured me that she wouldn't be there, I decided to go. Big mistake. She was there. Mom decided that, despite everything that happened, I was taking all this too far. So she wanted us to meet to solve this problem as a family. I tried to get out of there the moment I realized what she intended. But some relatives tried to stop me why my mom cried that I need to stop. That I was tearing apart the family and needed to learn to forgive and let go. I realized that, despite everything, even knowing I was telling the truth, she was still on my sister's side. I got out of there, telling her that I'm not attending any family events again, if she's there, and to never think of trying this BS again. At this point, almost all my family knows what she did. Some of them think my sister is crazy. Some others think she's crazy, but I am taking it too far. A couple of days ago, mom invited me to spend Christmas with them. I didn't want to go after what she said, but I decided to give her a chance after she swore that wouldn't happen again. But not only had she planned to do it again, my brother warned me that this time she intended to lock me in until I forgive my sister and stop the nonsense. I called my mom and told her I knew and that I was done with her and my sister. Don't talk to me until she realizes she supported the wrong person and apologize. I don't need to say how many times she tried to call me in the following hours and all the drama she made when I didn't show up for Christmas. But again, I am tired of being the good guy. So that's it for the moment. Hope all of you have a nice Christmas and I wish you a happy and drama-free new year. Read a comment. Your sister is deranged thinking you should support a child that is not yours. She's welcome to take on the job since she feels so adamant about it. Your mom should be demanding your sister to stand down from her persecution of you rather than you just turning the other cheek for more abuse. They sound as if they are mentally ill. Original poster. At this point, I am sure it's not for the child anymore. It's about her being unable to admit she's wrong and taking it to the last consequences only to prove I am the villain and she's the good one in her imaginary moral fight. Read her comments. Man, your brother having your back by telling you their plan is awesome. Original poster. Yes, he's the best. That's one of the things that hurts me about this. I wouldn't be able to celebrate these days properly with him and my dad. And none of them are responsible for this. Read her comments. OP, keep us updated when you can. I know it will be a long road, but hang in there. Maybe you, your dad, and your brother can hang out sometime without your mother and sister. Maybe at your place. Order takeouts and make it a man's night. Original poster. That's an excellent idea. We used to have something like that when we were kids. It would be good to do it again. Reader comments. Where is your dad in all of this? He's failing you. Source. I am a dad who has stepped up to defend my sons when they were mistreated by their mother, my wife. Original poster, he didn't know my mom's plan. He was as surprised as me when it happened. And now he's really angry with my mom. Since the beginning, 
he has been on my side. He knows all this situation is insane. Reader comment. I am so sorry that you are going through all this. The thing that gets me is that your mom says that you need to forgive and let go. But first, how do you forgive someone who isn't sorry for what they did? And second, how do you let go when your sister is still spouting her lies on the internet about you? The one thing your mom needs to let go of is your sister. Best of luck with everything. Original poster. Thanks. She has the idea that I must be a gentleman with her. Forgive her. And she just made an honest and good intention mistake and just reacted like this due to the fear of my actions. Reader comment. Jesus, are all the women in your family this sexist? Sorry you have to deal with such insanity. Original poster. Not all. My aunts think they are all insane too. Reader comment. How is your dad dealing with their madness? I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up divorcing your mom for enabling your sister like this. Your sister and your mom are the only ones that need a serious intervention. My God. Original poster. He had been on my side since the beginning. He didn't know my mom's plan and he's really angry with her. Update. One year later. Hi to all that are still here. It's been a while. More than a year. And I think now it's a good time to give an update about everything that happened with my life. During the last year, lots of things happened. Lots of things had changed. The lawsuit. To be short, I won. We didn't get into trial. All got solved in conciliation meetings. My lawyer's strategy was to add all the things we could think of. From the harassment, defamation, to the attempt to put my job at risk parental fraud and everything. The idea was to scale the hell out of them. And if that didn't work, there would be a lot of charges against my ex and my sister. My sister kept calling it a bluff and kept posting all her BS on social media, a thing she regrets now, as every single word she posted against me came back to bite her when it was used as proof. My ex took back everything she said, pleaded for my forgiveness, after seeing that she would lose a lot. So she ended up accepting to compensate the damages out of court and left my sister alone in a battle she started. When my sister realized how big things really were, that she was alone now and she would lose, she freaked out and deleted every single post she did. Tried to pretend she never did what she did. But at that point, we had all the backups, screenshots and recordings we needed. In the last conciliation meeting, she broke down crying, begging me to forgive her and not to make her pay. But she did this to herself. She had multiple chances to stop, but she kept pushing and ended up facing the consequences of her stupidity. She had to pay me a good amount, plus all the legal cost. My mother helped her to pay, but now she has a considerable debt as my dad demanded her to pay them back over time. For a few months, she resented me for what I did, but we ended up talking and getting back on good terms. Our relationship is damaged, but healing. She confessed to me that, at the beginning, she felt she was fighting for a good reason, for a cause she believed in, to defend a poor woman in need. She believed she was doing the right thing, so she was sure she had to win in the end. Those ideas were supported by her friends, as she said. Those girls were encouraging her to fight, to face me and make me fulfill my obligations and that she was fighting in the name of other women. And those ideas kept on her mind until things got real. When she saw there was no way she would win, all those girls disappeared. My ex left her alone and all the ones who gave her support wished her luck and went away. So she had no other choice but to surrender. So that's how things ended with them. And for the ones who suspected, no, my sister and my ex weren't in a relationship. I don't know where my ex is and I don't care. She paid and disappeared and I hope I never see her again. Some people had told me I went too far with her. Even some called me a monster for ruling a single mother who already was in trouble. And some have said, I am not loyal to my family for taking this issue far instead of solving it inside the family. At this point, I don't care anymore. Two, my mother. 
For the months the conciliation lasted, my mom went on my sister's side. Multiple times, she tried to convince me to stop, from asking me to just let it go, to trying to guilt me for everything she could think of. She even threatened to disown me, to say she would not see me as a son anymore, to separate me from the family. But at the end, she couldn't, and was and still is resentful. For all those months, and after all was over, I kept asking myself why she does this. Why she just keep treating me like this, putting everyone side except mine. So after reading multiple people saying to do this, I finally got to do. Third, the DNA test. After talking about it with my brother and dad, all agreed it was too rare my mother acting like this. And because of everything my mom said and implied, my dad had more and more doubts. To the point he was sure she did something. After some beers, a very hard talk, some tears, and the promise that, no matter what the result says, to me and my brother, he will always be our dad. We did the DNA test. Both of us are his sons. My dad was so relieved, but then very embarrassed for having doubts about his wife's loyalty. He felt very ashamed, so we ended up agreeing to apologize to her for what we did. As I started to talk of the DNA test, I asked to be the first to talk and apologize to her. That night, all of us gathered at my dad's house. We sat around the table and I started by recognizing all the fights and tension we had over the months and apologizing for it because, after all, she's my mother. But her behavior made us wonder and have a lot of doubts about why she was being like this. So I suggested we all get a DNA test. Right after saying that, my mom went livid, and half a second later, her face went red. She got up from the chair and threw herself at me, pulling my hair, scratching and hitting me, screaming, Why did you do this? I hate you. You had no right. My father and my brother separated her from me. She immediately started to ask for forgiveness from my dad. My dad was surprised and furious. When he told her that he was about to apologize to her, because the result said we were his sons. Her face was a mix of fear and desperation. Her reaction told us everything. I never saw my dad so angry. She confessed that long ago, she had an affair for a long time. Until she got pregnant with me, she never knew if she got pregnant by my dad or by her lover. All these years, she had the doubt about who was my real father, and she intended to take this secret to the grave. But now, she exposed herself, and now, all made sense. That was the reason she always treated me like this. That's why she always put everyone else's word before me. Dad threw her away that night, and in very little time, all the family knew about it. We warned them in case she tried to spread any lies, a thing she had hated because she called us saying we had no right to say anything, that she's our mother and we can't say anything against her. Four, the aftermath. So to conclude the craziness, I won a good amount of money. My brother is still my best friend. My relationship with my sister is damaged, but healing, and she separated from her toxic and misandric friends. My ex is gone, I hope forever this time. Dad is hurt. Mom revealed to be a crazy cheater, but they are not divorcing. She's back at my dad's home, but he hasn't forgiven her. And for what he said, he never will. But he doesn't want to go through a divorce or give her anything he had worked for. In his words, they are married, but they are not a couple. And she's now trying to earn my dad's forgiveness. And of course, my mom now openly hates me because, to her, I'm the cause of all her problems. In her words, if you have done what I said and took charge of the kid, none of this would have happened. I hope you're happy now. Hope you all had a good 2023 and also wish you a good 2024. I will keep working, saving, and trying to build a life from this madness. I will probably cut contact with my mom, but I don't care at this point anymore. Edit. Thanks to all you guys. I am overwhelmed by the number of comments. I saw a lot of you are kind of worried about some of the things I said. So for all those that have suggested therapy, yes, I am already on it. I am seeing a psychologist once a month since I knew about my mom's cheating. It has been helping a lot. But the ones 
who were worried. I am not going to start hating women from now on. I am aware not all women are this bad. And I know there is a lot of awesome and amazing ones out there. But after all this, it's hard for me to trust anyone, not just women. About my dad, me and my brother tried to convince him multiple times to go for a divorce. But he made his choice, and God knows he will stick to it. Even after we promised to help him in case he ends up losing too much, there is no way to make him change his mind. My relationship with my mother is in the worst state ever. I consider it lost. After knowing the truth and undergoing therapy, lots of things started to make sense about how all my life she put everyone else's words before me or how she always used to put herself on everyone's side except mine, knowing that she always resented me and that all the efforts I made in my childhood were a waste. Hurts. I'm not planning on having a relationship with her anymore. Thank you for staying to the end of this story. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and let me get your reaction on the comment section. Thank you and have a wonderful day.